my 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 voice um, is loud from being in the country, you know, in in gospel. So we we learned to project in gospel because you have to sing over the choir, you know. And a lot of times we didn't have microphones, so you're singing and there's 300 people behind you singing. You have to be heard. So we just learned to to sing from the diaphragm to push like this. My whole life been a struggle, baby. My life there's there's no way to uh there's no way to separate so when i learned i grew up gospel and um even when i left music for a long time when i came back you know it was just it's my voice and that's that's where i learned was in the church so you know you can't help it it, it comes out a bit you know yes it's very true i never play with a set list never they learn all the songs or i may tell them what i want to play i may turn around and say hey play this song it's like okay <laughs> Today is the last day of the tour. We've been here for three weeks. Uh, this is uh, this is day 17. Tomorrow's day 18. We, we we fly home. So we've enjoyed the tour. We started the tour in Switzerland. Uh, the first show was in Baden, and we wind up staying in Baden. We did, we wind up doing two shows in Baden because I had a show in London cancel, and the Baden the person they had coming in for the weekend caught COVID. So they asked me, they're like, can you stay? three more days I'm like yes because otherwise we were just gonna sit in London for three days doing nothing so we did two shows here in Baden and then from there we went to Manchester and to France and to Glasgow to the Red Rooster Festival to the Blues Pier in Belgium to to the Holland show last night and now we're here Listen. See, uh, Just how beautiful it was on the train ride. You know, last time I played Sierra, that was what we remember was uh, the train ride. It was just so beautiful. There's, you know, I don't know if, if uh, the people in Swiss realize just how beautiful the country is. They're coming up the mountains and, you know, I, I played um, Switzerland up here many, many, many years ago. I had a, a, an Italian band back at me and it was somewhere here in Sierra. I can't remember where. And uh, that was my first time. And I remember the hotel I was in, you go out the back, I opened out the back to go smoke my cigar and there's waterfall coming down from the, the mountain. Like, I like this. this is like a, a postcard. This is unbelievable. Well, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't so bad because when the pandemic hit, you know, my, my wife had cancer, really bad cancer. So it was good to be able to be home, to be with her, and then I had just got the Grammy nomination and then I won the B.B. King Entertainer. But mentally, uh, even before the cancer and before the pandemic, I was going to take a break because I was just mentally and physically really tired because uh, I didn't realize, my wife says, you know, it's been 18 years, you haven't taken a break. And I said, 18 years, wow. You know, but we played 170 shows a year and we've been doing that for ever and I didn't realize, but. Like I said, right when the pandemic started, so many crazy things, my emotions were, it was like, oh, you, you got nominated for Grammy. It's like, oh, then it's like, well, your wife has cancer. And it's like, oh, and then the pandemic, you know, so it was, it was strange, but, but for me, it wound up being good because I needed to be home to be there for her. be here. Sierra Blues Festival. I'm Sugar Ray. Peace.